about okay so open disclaimer <laughs> for those of you who enjoy my commentary with little to no cursing please exit stage left because this review or if that's what you want to call it may have some triggering and not so pleasant words okay Love and Marriage Huntsville. I don't know what season, season five, six. Uh, I, I don't know what it is. But baby, I just finished watching the last episode, right? And I am appalled. I think the thing that most, the thing that has me the most flabbergasted would be Maurice. Maurice is the biggest asshole on this show. And people like to say that that title would go out to Marceau, and some would even say that it goes out to Martel. But no, Maurice is the biggest asshole on this show. And I say that because with him being, in Melody's words, the most unentertaining person, the most uninteresting person on this show. He has the nuts, the balls, the galls to disrespect his wife in the most humiliating way. Now, the mess that happened between Martel and Melody, that's 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 normal in relationships and marriages these days if you ask me people cheat now was he very disrespectful in the way that he cheated of course was Ariane very disrespectful in the way that she took part in the dissolution of those people's marriage of course however Maurice and Kimmy are still together this woman went through a very terrible time a tough time dealing with her cancer situation and he is so so invested in having sex and uh, sparking up their sex life. Got this woman out here on national television letting everybody know that her cat don't work. Letting everybody know she's jumping through hoops to try to please this man. Sitting up there bringing all kind of sex toys into her marriage. She said she already had some, but girl, you ain't had none. Bringing all kind of sex toys into her marriage, trying to take sexy pictures to please this man. And he's making jokes at her expense. When he was purchasing her that Jeep, and he was like, you know, I want her to get something more luxurious, like a Lambo or a Ferrari. Or he probably didn't say Ferrari, but he said some kind of mess that they probably cannot afford. Trying to keep up an image and in a certain look. Bush, get the hell out of here. Shut the hell up. That lady said she wanted a Jeep. And it took you this long to get her a Jeep when you guys are so-called millionaires. Get her the damn Jeep. If you want her to ride around in a Lambo, how about your unevenly shaped, wop-sided head ass get a Lambo for your damn self? This man is so ridiculous. And then had the nerve to make a joke at the fact that she does not have hair. Talking about, oh, she wants, you know, to ride down the road with her hair blowing in the wind. Baby, you don't have much hair. Excuse me. At least she has a reason not to have hair. Why did you shave all your hair off your wop-sided, unevenly shaped ass head? Why you walking around here looking like Mr. Clean in certain spots? <laughs> Why you walk around here bald-headed but still patchy at the same damn time? Where they do that at? Oh my God. God, this is so disres this is disturbing. And the fact that Kimmy's pick me as, and I used to like Kimmy. Kimmy used to be my favorite. But you have to see people in their different in all seasons. You have to see people uh 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 in all of their emotional states to get a feel of who they are. I can't I don't like Kim I don't care for Kimmy. And the same reason I don't care for Kimmy now is the reason that I did not care for Melody in the beginning. Because in the beginning I did not like Mel. It took male to leave Martel for me to like her because I don't like weak women and when she was with Martel I was like you sitting up here letting this man do this to you letting this man side do this to you and that's why I didn't like her but when she left him and she bossed up oh baby uh, I'm a fan of Melody and I don't care who know it and the fact that everybody was ganging up on her I hate that gang of shit I hate that gang of shit. I don't like that gang, 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 gang shit. 
No, handle your business on your own. And they couldn't do that with her. They can't take her down by themselves, so they keep trying to gang up, and I didn't like that. So that made me like her even more. But Kimmy, Kimmy, you are sitting here with your pick me ass. Letting this man get on national television and on the worldwide way of doing interviews disrespecting you like that. Girl. Girl. And the fact that he said, because I always say all the time, like with relationships, why take your time? We don't know how much time we got here. We could be dead tomorrow, dead and gone tomorrow. That's what I usually say. But when he was like, we don't have much time. And I know he probably didn't mean it as if like she's going to be gone next year. But, you know, it was more so of we don't know, you know, when our last days are. It's how he said it for me. Like, he don't even expect for the lady to be here long. Boy, shut the hell up. I can't stand Maurice. And I actually, this is an unpopular opinion, but I actually like Marceau. Marceau is a jackass, but baby, he stands in his jackassness. <laughs> Marceau owns who he is. And he is who he is. Yes, he talk a lot of shit. Yes, he could be a little disrespectful, but at the end of the day, he don't care what people say, think, or feel about him. And that's exactly how I am. I don't care what you say about me. I don't care what you think about me. I don't care if you like me or not. I'm going to be who I am, and that's who Marceau is. I fuck with it. I really fuck with it. And he can do a little better with how he treat his wife, but at the end of the day, she sit her gullible ass right there like a goddamn lump on a log, and she allow him to do it. So who am I? to dislike this man for mistreating and disrespecting his wife when she don't give a damn about it boy go to hell go straight to hell now kiki kiki really wants to be on tv that's a given i can tell but the thing about kiki is i think she needs to calm down a little bit more and let her personality come through like don't try so hard when she was sitting down talking to melody and giving her all the information to tea which i think melody already had it's like she just be so anxious to get stuff out and you know it's she don't seem relaxed to me girl relax the cameras are right here you film it we gonna see it be you now when Kiki came into that cookout and tried to hug Tisha and she gonna slither and slide her snake ass on out the way and didn't want to get that girl a hug oh baby it was up and at him at that point give it to her Kiki I don't feel bad for Tisha at all cause you know you just trying to make it obvious that you know you got an issue with Kiki and it's, if it's because she's bringing you information about your husband which is what you said you wanted see you don't post you can't tell everybody about what their mate is doing You some stuff you have to hold to yourself even if that's your cousin cause, because if you tell the wrong person that they man or woman is cheating on them baby they will flip that on you trust me I'm going through it now they will flip that on you honey to avoid what they are going through in their own relationship i went tell tisha she baby you find it out how you find it out and you handle it how you handle it because guess what i ain't fit to be your punching bag i ain't fit to sit up here and be mistreated because you don't know how to handle the situations going on in your own household now with all of this going on and with marceau pumping out his chest to martel if they don't come out with some real receipts real soon about marceau chino tisha let it go I'm tired of hearing about it. Yes, I believe he done stepped out on her. But I also feel like he did it with the right person. Because some women will sit back and mind their business. Believe me, I know. They will sit back and mind their business. They ain't got no interest in breaking up nobody's household. They getting taken care of. They satisfied. They're not Ariane Curry. Everybody's not Ariane Curry. Everybody do not want to be the wife. Everybody do not want to be the main one getting cheated on. Everybody is not as simple-minded as Ariane. So whoever Mar Marceau is sleeping with, baby, homegirl got her ducks in a row. She got her mouth sealed, and she is happy. So if they don't come out with no receipts pretty soon, let them people be, and let that man she in peace. This is embarrassing. Tisha does not have a mind of her own. Now, I thought that Tisha released Macy and Mila's product up under Stormy's line. Like, I thought that all of this was, you know, Stormy Hip and Tisha. These people really copy and paste that girl's own return policy and didn't even do a good job at doing so because they didn't read it. Tisha, leave this stuff alone. You trying to venture into everybody else's lane and get money in everybody else's uh market and you don't even know what you're doing. The people you're hiring don't know what they're doing. 
stick to going to school, make a living in a career out of going to school like Ariane say, her college career, baby, stick to going to school. Just go get your degrees. You ain't got to put them to use. Just pay for them and go to school forever. Because they ain't doing you no damn good. You ain't learning nothing. You still out here maneuvering like a bitch that, I, that dropped out of middle school. See, this is why I, I tell my nephew and my niece all the time. Some people are, you know, they get a, a thrill out of saying, I'm college educated. I have this, that, and third degree. Child, I tell them kids all the time, if you ain't going to school to be a doctor, a lawyer, a judge, leave college alone. Go get you, they are very talented. They are skilled people. Go get you a few trades. Find something that you can do, something that you love to do. Create, get your own business. Do your own thing. Finish school. My nephew got his high school diploma. My niece is working on her GED. She's only 16. She'll be out of school by 17. She's going to a trade school for cosmetology. She's real good at doing hair. You're young. You can start your profession off at, a, at this age. Baby, by the time you turn my age, 33, you will be up, lit, and going. College ain't for everybody. College don't work for everybody. Look at Tisha. Now, we gonna have to wait and see how all of this stuff play out because this is a whole hot mess. Now that they don't have Melody and Martell to rely on so that they can just talk about them and their business and get airtime off of their business, now we have to focus on y'all. Y'all gotta focus on yourself and give us what you got. And baby, it's going down, down, down. At one point, Tisha had to stop crying, honey, and she was laughing and making jokes because Mel was going through her situation and Martel was going through his situation. They were going through a divorce and everybody wanted to talk about them. Now what? Now we got to talk about y'all. Now the focus back on y'all. And it ain't so funny no more, huh? It's never fun when a rabbit got the gun. But baby, this is karma coming right on back around. Spinning the block, spinning the block. And we about to see what they got to give us, honey.